Hi, this is Matt Shearer. On behalf of my friends at the Coffee Bunker in Tulsa, Oklahoma, I want to talk about your LinkedIn professional photo. Unfortunately, a lot of you people that are new to LinkedIn don't even put a picture up. And for those of you that have done that, I would say, let's get rid of the gray balloon. I'd ask you this question. Would you wear a bag to a networking event? Let me introduce you to my friend, Abel Martinez. Abel didn't have a profile photo. I told him he needed to get one. His girlfriend, now his wife, took his photo, put it on LinkedIn, and he suddenly had two very promising job offers, all because he took the time to create a professional photo. Unfortunately, a lot of people that do have photos have what I call a low resolution photo. Usually it's with a camera that's pretty old, so it's important that you have a high resolution photo. Next, we don't want to have you use a picture you would use for your Facebook page or your TikTok page or your Tinder page. And lastly, the one thing I see that most people make a lot of mistakes is that they tend to put more than one person in the picture. It's like if I went to a wedding with my wife and I wore a coat and tie and someone took a picture of us, a lot of people use that photo for their LinkedIn profile photo and then they crop their wife out as best they can, and they make that their profile photo. And finally, the, my number one pet peeve for those of you in the military is those of you that decide you're gonna wear your Ray-Bans as your profile photo. That makes me want to howl. Okay, military professional, you may have had a photo on your commander's wall of fame. You might've been a first sergeant, you might've won an award, but you always have that stoic look when you pose for those kind of photos. As the picture you see there of my good friend, Michael Brownfield, that's that classic first sergeant photo. If I get called at two o'clock in the morning to come get you out of jail, that's how I look like. But what you want to do is you want to convey warmth and approachability. I would have you think of talking to that golden retriever. In fact, I use that visual to take a profile photo of a crusty old sergeant major named E.G. Mize. And E.G. is like, E.G., think of a puppy, like I'm showing in this picture. And he started to warm up. Let's talk about those elements of a, an effective photo. Number one, you need to have a headshot, here to here. You need to have a neutral background. And number three, you need to wear professional attire. So leave the t-shirts and the other stuff out of the profile photo. Take a photo that's appropriate for the industry that you're applying for. Okay, let's talk about some other ways to get professional photos. All of us all ha have a grandmother or relative that wants to give us a gift on Christmas or a birthday. Tell them this, hey grandma, why don't you give me a gift certificate so I can get a professional photo for my LinkedIn profile? Or if you're in some communities, there's an organization called Portraits for Patriots and they provide you a free photo at no charge if you're in their community. So look up Portraits for Patriots. It's in the slides that we just showed you. And lastly, I'd like to talk about those of you that dress up to go to a career fair, job fair. Some of these organizations provide a professional photographer, but having talked to those professional photographers, some of us don't write our name very clearly or our email address very clearly. So what I tell people when they go to one of those events and they get their professional photo shot, write down the time, you got the picture. Write down the name and the email and the phone number of the photographer. And if you haven't gotten with a couple weeks, then write that person an email or call them and say, hey, you know, I had my picture taken at 125 at this career fair and I still have not gotten your photo. And he's going, oh yeah, you're the guy in the blue. I couldn't figure out who that was because you didn't write your name down clearly. So those are my steps for basic professional photography. Again, I'm looking forward to working with you in some more videos. And I want to thank my friends at The Coffee Bunker for asking me to share my expertise on LinkedIn profile photos.